Hey everybody, welcome to Cut Transform Glue. In this video, I'm going to start a new project, a new scratch build project. This one will be a robot. I'm thinking about an engineer or maintenance robot. And as you can see, I'm holding its torso in my hands. That's what this video is covering. And here's the concept art. This is the result that I'm aiming for at the end of this video series. Now let's get to it. I'll begin by making its head and since I'm locked out of my shop I'm kinda adapting my process so I'm using Lego parts this time to make the overall shape of the head. I'm removing the studs of the Lego piece on my mini disc sander. And once the top of each Lego piece was flat, I glued it to some shiny strips. Did the same thing to the back as I wanted this head to be like a rectangle with round corners. And this right here is going to be the overall shape of the head. Now I just have to cover the holes on the sides. And to do that I will use some parts that I reclaimed from old laptops. Then I added some more pieces like these keyboard keys and I also started working on the neck with some laser cut MDF pieces. Now moving on to the torso, I did a couple weeks ago some sketches so I kinda knew how I wanted the shape to be, like a trapezoidal thing. So I grabbed some laser cut MDF pieces and I started trying to create the faces for this trapezoid and this is how I like to make it. I grabbed the pieces and I started laying them out on the cutting mat and then once I find the perfect shape I just have to glue the edges. Quick tip for you guys, when you put the CA glue onto the edge and then you sand, the dust of the MDF will actually cover the hole that could be left and that will make the bond stronger. Now to make the side of this torso, I had the shape in my mind so I drew it on styrene and then I cut it. And then I just had the trouble of gluing the pieces together, kind of creating a box. And for the other pieces I also used some more styrene. And as you can see this time I'm trying to make this project more with styrene than MDF or laser cut pieces. This is kind of a challenge for me. This is 3mm styrene and it is just a little too thick for me but this is what I have at the moment in hand so I'm going to use it anyways. I left the bottom open until I finished the inside. And once the inside was closed I glued the bottom and the shape is done. On the next day I felt that the torso was too boxy, so I drew some lines and started cutting some new angles to it. And this is a cool technique that I'm kinda accidentally developing. I'll start by making a bigger box with not many details and then I can actually cut and add some faces and edges and angles to make it more interesting. 
I believe the first time that I tried this was at the combat robot build and if you haven't checked this check it out it's on the channel and I want to take this moment to invite you guys to consider subscribing to the channel this will help me a lot also to hit the like button if you like the video if you want to go one step further there's a coffee link on the description box below right there you can donate to the channel but if you can't I know these are tough times so no big deal just stay tuned for more now with the basic shape for the torso made I laid out some pieces of MDF to check the size of the robot and of course as always I ended up making something way bigger than I intended for in the first place so now it's time to work on the waist I kind of glued this piece to be like an axis for the legs but I wanted it to join the torso like in an angle so this is what I'm trying to do now The piece turned out great and I felt that the angle was good so I just had to glue it to the torso but it was at this moment that I realized that the waist was too high so I had to glue some more pieces before the torso I should say between the torso and the axis of the legs to make it higher so once again I grabbed these Lego pieces to create this section that will come between these two parts I wanted to create an air vent for the torso and for that I used this piece right here this was also saved from an old dead laptop and these are great for air vents and to kind of frame this air vent I'm combining the pieces with some laser cut MDF And this is the end result. I feel this looks quite good. So this is why I keep all pieces I can. And right here I'm creating a shoulder for the robot where the arms would attach to. And then I glued this disc MDF to create the axis for the arms. I feel like the shoulder ended up looking too boxy but I'll add some more angles to it later on but I'm happy with the overall shape and the weight distribution now I'll put some work on the back and I'll start by covering the holes that was left by the other pieces that I chose
I just realized that all robots that I make have a backpack and this one is no different so I grabbed this lid from a ketchup bottle and I started adding some pieces to it Now I have to find a way to attach this backpack to the back of the robot. So once again I'm combining some laser cut pieces to create the structure on the back of the robot. To me, the challenge when creating robots with some laser cut pieces is actually to create something that looks three-dimensional and not just like flat faces glued together. And this is where I feel like I need to get better in my work. So in a way, this backpack is kind of a trick to make the model interesting on the back and not just flat. And I found in my box of pieces these cool looking handle things that were cut from MDF and I glued it to the backpack to make it look good and not only that I feel like this type of pieces give scale to the robot because it looks like something that a human would interact with and in the last moment I decided that these MDF pieces wasn't good enough for the axis of the arm so I replaced it with some more styrene And this concludes this first video. This is the first part of a series of videos where I'll cover the build of this robot. And I want to break this in many many pieces so that I have more content to show it in depth. And in this project I took a different path and I took a photo in the middle of the process, went to my computer and did some concept art for what I imagined to be. So for the next video I'm going to work on the limbs and for that I have this art to kind of guide me in the process. So this is it for now guys, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video if you like what you saw and as always, thanks for watching.